Hey guys, it's Your Mindy Chess here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to create a Minecraft server for free. So the first thing you want to do is right-click on your desktop, or New, and then hit Folder. Then we're just going to call this uh, Minecraft Server. You can call this whatever you want; it's just a folder, and um, it doesn't matter. Then you're going to go down into the description, and it'll take you to this page. Then we're going to download Minecraft server and save it into the Minecraft server file we just created. Then this can take a few seconds to download and then we're going to run what we just downloaded. Again this can take a few seconds but then it should run all this. Then we want to go into the EULA and type in true. What you're doing here is basically agreeing to the EULA terms um, if you want to read them, just go over there, copy that, and then paste it into your web browser. But for now, we're just going to save that. And then what you want to do is right-click, hit New, Text Document, and we're going to call this Server Starter. Then at the end here, where it says .txt, we're going to change that to .bat. If you can't see .txt, hit View, and hit File Name Extensions. It will then tell you that this um, changing it to .bat may make it unusable. Um, this is fine. Then we want to right click in here and edit. Then we want to go back to the web page and copy in this. Then paste it in here. Now there is one important step that you need to get here. Um, this here needs to be the same as this one here. So it just says server.jar. So we just basically remove all of that in the beginning and all of that at the end. Obviously if yours says um, server 11.5 1, 1 then obviously you need to add that um, but it needs to be exactly the same. Then we can either run this in two ways. We can run this with no GUI um, which basically means we'll just get a command line prompt so the black box or if you want the typical uh, Minecraft box, you just remove that and then just put pause at the end. And then we're just going to go ahead and save that and then run it. This should take a few seconds and then it will load up our Minecraft world. So I'm just going to launch Minecraft alongside this. Uh, apparently I do have an update. But that's fine because I'm launching the server anyway. Here you can see the server loading in, and then the game loading in as well. So this is our server, and um, this is also our server. So if you don't, if you put um, no GUI, you won't get this white box. Um, you don't need it. You can run the server completely through the black, um, but some people like this uh, one how it looks. So if you don't want this white one, no GUI works. Um, if you want it, remove the no GUI. Then, to join the server, you want to go to multiplayer, uh, that's fine. Then you want to go to direct connect and just type in local host and you want to hit join server. This will add you to the server and as you can see it's a brand new world. Not a particularly great spawn to be honest, um, but yeah. Then, obviously, so if I type hello, it is going to say that in the server. Then if the server wanted to say something back, you would just type say, and then hello. And then if you see, we go back into game, the server said hello back. Now, the next step is that if you want friends to join, then you'll need to do that. You can do this through Hamachi, or you can do this through port forwarding. I have tutorials for both on my channel and the link will be in the description or the top right right now. If this video helped you out, a like would be much appreciated and if you could also subscribe, it would be great. If you want to go that extra mile, I do have uh, memberships on my channel now, so you can also help me that way. But anyway guys, till next time, I'll see you soon.